As the war situation worsened for Germany, the Nazi officials realized that they needed to develop new revolutionary weapons that could turn the tide of the war. In reality, the advanced weapons generally required lengthy periods of design work and testing, which was hard in heavily blitzed Germany. The introduction of the Luftfaust was an attempt to reduce the dominance of Allied air superiority. The first version, the Luftfaust A, had four barrels. It was a prototype model, and the production model Luftfaust B was the more common of the two. The Luftfaust B added another five barrels and increased the barrel's length. The weapon, therefore, had a total length of 150 centimeters and weighed 6.5 kilograms. It used 20 millimeter rocket propelled shells. These were warheads from 20 by 138 millimeter B anti aircraft gun rounds, fitted with solid fuel rocket motors. Unlike most rockets, the Luftfaust's rockets are not fin stabilized. Instead, they are stabilized via four angled holes drilled into the rear of the rocket. The rockets were breech loaded through the rear with the help of nine round revolver like speed loaders. The Luftfaust had a rather unique firing sequence, where four rounds are fired first, followed by the remaining five, 0.1 to 0.2 seconds later. The delay was meant to prevent the projectiles from getting damaged by the previous launch's exhaust fumes, which could also interfere with their courses. The Luftfaust wasn't a successful weapon because of its small effective range. The dispersion of its projectiles proved to be too large, and the anticipated range of 500 meters was never attained. 10,000 launchers and 4 million rockets were ordered in 1945, but the final production number never got close to this figure. Only 80 of these weapons were issued for combat trials, all to a unit stationed in Saarbrücken, southwest Germany. However, a photograph exists of three discarded Luftfaust launchers lying among the rubble taken during the Siege of Berlin in 1945.